Hey there! Did you know that Germany has given us another incredible military weapon? No, it's not the famous party you might be thinking of. It's the Mantis Air Defense System. It has never been more important to have efficient air defense systems in a world where aerial threats are evolving to be more unexpected and complex. So we're going to examine the Mantis Air Defense System, one of the most complicated, sophisticated, and adaptable air defense systems in the world in more detail today as a result. The Mantis system is built to offer complete defense against a variety of aircraft threats, from its cutting-edge radar system to its extremely mobile missile launcher. So, stay tuned, because this video is for you if you're interested in knowing more about the future of air defense. I see you're interested in the video. Well, do give us a like, comment on your favorite feature of this system, and let us know what you think the next topic for a future video could be. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Military Knowledge. So once again, welcome to this video on the Mantis Air Defense System, one of the most advanced and effective air defense systems in the world. We're going to take a closer look at the Mantis system, its capabilities and its applications. Designed to defend against a variety of aerial threats, missiles, rockets, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs and aircraft, the Mantis system is a highly mobile and adaptable air defense system. This system may be handled by a small team and is made to deploy fast and easily in a range of situations. A short-range air defense system built in Germany by Rheinmetall. It's made to effectively defend against a variety of aerial threats, such as approaching missiles, helicopters, planes, and drones. To identify and monitor impending threats, the system combines a variety of cutting-edge detectors, such as radars and electro-optical devices. Using data fusion, the network system Mantis combines data from many sensors to provide a complete image of the airspace. To engage and eliminate targets, it also employs a range of armaments, such as automated cannons and missiles. The device is very portable and can be quickly set up to defend military sites, key infrastructure, and other high-value assets. Specifically designed for counter-rocket, artillery, and mortar or CRAM defense, the Mantis system is referred to as a CRAM Mantis in this context. Military sites and other high-value assets are further protected by CRAM systems, which are made to find and destroy incoming rockets, artillery shells, and mortar rounds before they reach their targets. If such a variant of the Mantis system exists, it most likely has altered sensor and weaponry systems to more effectively recognize and counter incoming CRAM threats. To identify the distinctive signatures of approaching rockets, artillery shells, and mortar rounds, for instance, the system might incorporate additional radar or acoustic sensors. It might also include weapon systems that have been updated and are better suited for dealing with these kind of threats. The development of the Mantis air defense system involves several steps to ensure its effective operation. So here's a general overview of the development process. Number 1. Site Survey and Preparation before deploying the Mantis system, a site survey is conducted to identify the location for deployment. The site should have a clear line of sight to the aerospace to be monitored, as well as access to power, communications, and other necessary infrastructure. The site must also be cleared of any obstacles that may interfere with the operation of the system. Number 2. Transport and Installation Once the site has been prepared, the Mantis system is transported to the site and installed. The system is highly mobile and can be transported by a variety of vehicles, including trucks, trailers, or helicopters. The system can be set up by a small crew and is designed to be rapidly deployed. Number 3. Configuration and Calibration Once the Mantis system has been installed, it's configured and calibrated to ensure its sensors and weapon systems are operating properly. This involves setting up the system's software and hardware, as well as testing its sensors and weapon systems to ensure that they're functioning as expected. Number 4. Integration with Command and Control System The Mantis system is integrated with a command and control system to enable effective coordination and operation. This allows operators to receive real-time information from the system's sensors and to remotely control its weapon systems. Number 5. Testing and Training Before the system is put into operational use, it undergoes testing and training to ensure it's operating properly and that operators are proficient in its use. This involves conducting simulations of various scenarios and testing the system's ability to detect and engage incoming threats. And number 6. Operational Deployment Once testing and training is complete, the Mantis system is deployed for operational use. Operators are designed to monitor the system and respond to any incoming threats. The system can operate autonomously or under remote control, depending on the specific operational requirements.
drop a comment if you've made it this far into the video. And most importantly, do like and share the video and subscribe to our channel Military Knowledge, as it motivates us to create more content for you. It's important to note that the deployment process may vary depending on the specific requirements of the mission and the configuration of the Mantis system being used. The increasing complexity of contemporary threats to air defense, which include not only aircraft and missiles, but also unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs and other unmanned systems, was the driving force behind the creation of the Mantis system. A highly mobile, adaptable, and scalable air defense capability that could respond to shifting threat scenarios was the goal of the system's design. The main public showing of the Mantis framework was held in 2010 at the NATO rocket terminating establishment in Crete, Greece. The exhibition displayed the framework's capacities in identifying and connecting with various airborne targets, including rockets, cannon shells, and UAVs. The Mantis system is made to work in a networked environment so it can share data about its sensors and targets with other air defense systems to get a complete picture of the air. To identify and track incoming threats, it makes a use of a variety of cutting-edge sensors, such as radars and electro-optical systems. It also engages and destroys targets with a variety of weapons, including missiles and automatic cannons. A centralized command and control system is in charge of the weapons of the system. The system uses cutting-edge algorithms to prioritize targets and make the best use of the available resources. Depending on the specific requirements of the mission, the system can operate on its own or under the direction of a human operator. The Mantis system has been put into use by several NATO nations, including Germany, the Netherlands, and Italy since it was developed. It has also been shipped to Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, which are not members of NATO. The invention of the Mantis air defense system was a complex and iterative process that involved several stages of research, development, testing, and evaluation. The system was developed by Rheinmetall, a German defense contractor with extensive experience in the development of advanced weapon systems and military technology. The development of the Mantis system was driven by the need for a highly mobile, flexible, and scalable air defense capability that could adapt to changing threat scenarios. To achieve this goal, Rheinmetall began by conducting extensive research into the latest advances in air defense technologies, as well as the evolving nature of airborne threats. The first stage of the development process involved the creation of a conceptual design for the system. This involved identifying the key components and capabilities required for an effective air defense system, as well as the most promising technologies for each component. Once the conceptual design was established, the next stage involved the development of the individual components of the system, including the sensors, the weapon systems, and the command and control infrastructure. Each component was tested extensively in laboratory and field environments to ensure that it met the performance requirements of the system. The third stage of the development process involved the integration of the individual components into a functioning system. This required extensive testing and evaluation to ensure that the various components could work together seamlessly to detect and engage incoming threats. Throughout the development process, the Mantis system underwent several iterations, with each new version incorporating feedback from military operators and incorporating the latest advances in air defense technologies. The final version of the system was unveiled in 2010 and featured a highly automated, network-centric architecture that could detect and engage a wide range of airborne threats in real time. Overall, the innovation of the Mantis air defense system was a complex and iterative process that involved extensive research, development, testing, and evaluation. The system was designed to meet the evolving nature of airborne threats and provide a highly mobile, flexible, and scalable air defense capability that could adapt to changing threat scenarios. The system has been deployed by several NATO countries and is widely regarded as one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. This is all of the information that you would need to learn about the Mantis air defense. And guys, this is all for this video. Till the time we upload another video, go check out some other videos here on our channel, Military Knowledge. Thanks for watching.